It's a quickie. Have you noticed that the sharing button on Google Docs has changed lately? And do you find it confusing? Just give me a minute. Let's open up a new Google Doc. Before you can share, you have to give it a name. As it is now, this is private only to me, only I can see it. If I want to share it, click on the share button. So first thing you want to look at is the wheel. In order to share it with the different people, this is ticked. Editors can share permissions and share. And when this is ticked, viewers and commenters can see the option to download, print, and copy. If you untick them, then they cannot. I usually even tick that. I don't even touch that. Here, if I want to share it with a certain person, I put their email address in it. Judy's in my contact, so she pops in automatically. And I can notify people and send a message. And I send it. And then they'll get an email that tells them that they are shared on this. I can let them be shared as editor or just commenter where they can add comments, but they can't edit inside the doc itself, or just viewer. The next stage is to get the link, if you want to share the link with somebody. As it is now, it's restricted. Only people added up here, like I just added Judy, can open with this link. And I copy the link, and I can share this link, say, with Judy, because I just shared it with her. I can put it in a WhatsApp. Anybody else whose name is not on here will not be able to do anything with it. It'll be a dead link. If I click on this, I can change it to anyone with the link can either view or comment or edit. And you can always change it back. So once I've done this, anyone on the link can view. I copy it, done, and that's the link I share. WhatsApp, email, whatever you want, and that's how you share. That's all there is to it.